Hi everyone, welcome back to part two. So the objective this time is to add some more useful features to this graph and improve the appearance. The first thing I'll do is improve that title. This was an experiment about Coulomb's law. Now I will insert axis titles. The vertical axis was the force measured in Newtons and the horizontal axis is 1 over r squared measured in meters to the power negative 2, inverse of square meters. Uh, potentially we could improve that a little bit better with formatting but that'll do for this moment. Next thing I want to do is click on the data series itself, the blue dots, uh, head to the format make sure it's on series one, and then we'll select format selection. Over here, I'm going to go to the appearance of this. That's this thing that looks like a bucket. So there's no line, that's good, but let's look at the marker options. And I do not want to go automatic. I want to choose a nice little neat X for my marker. So far, so good. The next thing I want to do is add error bars vertical error bars. This is the amount of uncertainty in each of the force readings. So click the plus sign at the top of the graph, come down to where it says error bars, choose the arrow to get more options. On vertical error bars we want to do a custom value and we have to specify where they're stored. The errors are stored in that range there and we have to select it again for the amount to go down and we say OK. Now, they are there, trust me, but they're very small. We'd need to zoom in quite a bit to see them. Just to convince you that they're there, you can start to see some error bars there. Last thing we want to do is add a trend line to our graph. So again, to the more options, linear trend line is what we expected. That looks like it's doing pretty well. And I will display the equation on the chart. I don't worry about the R squared value. We'll do a more advanced type of an error analysis shortly. And I certainly don't set the intercept. I let that go wherever the data is telling it to. Just going to move that over there so it's out of the way. I will click on the trend line and then go and format the trend line. So it's on trend line, formatting the trend line. Again, the picture of a bucket. So it's an automatic line. I want to make it into a solid line. And I think I'll reduce the width down to about one point. So at the moment, we have a, a good looking graph. We have a title, we have axes labeled, we have data points with vertical error bars, we have a line of best fit, and the equation of that line is displayed on the chart. That's enough for this instalment. When we come back, we'll do some more advanced uncertainty analysis. Thanks for watching.